Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham, and next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work. You can tell both of these fighters are exuding comp. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square up. Here we go. Good one. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Looks like we're going to see an early night here. He is rocked. Knocked down hard. I'm not sure that they're going to be able to get back on their feet here as the referee continues the count. Two, three, four, five. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Stop ever hope. Remember the fight to Ivan Holyfield? He should be behind on points up until the last 10 seconds. But he's fighting like he's going to pull it back. That's the kind of hope we need to see. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. Men step back for just a moment. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. This next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Here we go for round two. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a bluff him. A counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. You're fighting a counter puncher, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react them. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twist. A good counter punch. Missed him with that uppercut. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh, man. You've got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Put him on the blind side of the referee. Get him angry. Beautiful counter punch. No rest for the weary. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. is down big time on the score. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? 
Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not to the sense of the comeback. Blocks the uppercut. Neither man really defending themselves. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Johnny, I love watching these lighter fighters just based on the hand speed and the foot movement. So impressive to watch. This is why I love the little guys. This is exactly why I love them. Look at them, toe to toe, half for half. You know, mano a mano, they're letting the shots go. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice counter shot. He just misses with that big right hand. When are we going to see a jab from these two? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. We know you've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Here we go to the fourth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. And a counter left. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. So one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it and you've got to be confident. It's defend yourself at all times. This fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. Punch. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot. Let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. On to the fifth we go. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. They've had one minute to recover now. They've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. He just misses with that jab. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? 
hard. We know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. You can't screw with that uppercut. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? You'd like to see more jabs. Hard, we see much, much more, much, much better. We've been spoiled. I'm being unfair. I'm not being unfair since it's not boring. It's not boring. We've probably just been spoiled. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. Good left counter that lands. Right hand just misses. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. And it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see. Here we go in the sixth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Miss with that jab. He misses with that jab. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Oh, that punch. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Leaves enough. Here we go, it's round seven. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighters. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Nice exchange here from both men. Punch, counter punch. can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. These two are the perfect dance partners. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. 
This is easy for us to say and comment here at ringside, but those guys can see what they've got to do. I understand there's a lot of pressure. I understand there's some guys that are just naive or inexperienced, but just give them a break, give them a little time. I'd watch the jab. Good counter left hand there. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. Dominance without it. Round eight, and we're off again. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. He's willing to go where the other fighter won't. Lands with the right counter. He scored that left hand. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Good punch. That left counter was perfectly timed. When someone punches that hard, you don't. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Eternity for them finally comes to a close. Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big punch? Zhukan just got caught. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, they're back up on their feet, but. I'm not sure why. Not the best start, but you know what? The cornerman now is down for them doing their job. Get through the round, regroup, like freshen up, boom. Different tactics. That left hand misses. Fails to score with that left hook. He threw the hook, didn't land. As we enter the 
final 10 seconds here. It's probably around he'd rather forget. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. Look at the this is the 10th. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. They're certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Did well to get out of the way of that right uppercut. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Good punch. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, we're entering desperation mode here, Gunnar. Here we go in the championship rounds, round 11. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Both men step back for just a moment. He blocks that jab. Great counter right hand there. Misses with that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. It might be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. That hook won't score. Neither man really defending themselves. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. At this point, you've got to believe he can't win on the scorecards. Going to need a knockout. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Who thought we would have made it to 12? Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here.
When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. Good counter right-handed kick. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. They exchange punches. You'd like to see more jabs. These two are the perfect dance partners. Nice exchange here from both men. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw, look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, thinking, you've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fag in them, pickpocket them. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford this round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Sugar Ray Robinson just got rocked. Oh, I heard that never by soul. We knew it was going to be close, but that's as close as it gets. No one wins, no one loses. This fight ends in a draw. A draw? Ooh, listen to that crowd. Nobody's happy with that. Why? Because the build-up was ridiculous, the things that were said were ridiculous, but these two fighters were evenly matched, and this is why we've got a draw. One thing is for certain, they're going to do it all over again.